from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, November the 8th, 2023. Three more IDF casualties were announced today as Israeli troops continue their fierce battles against terror group Hamas in Gaza. They are 22-year-old Sergeant First Class Yonatan Chatzor, 28-year-old Sergeant First Class in Reserve Yaakov Ozeri, and 20-year-old Staff Sergeant Noam Yosef Abu. In the ongoing ground operation, IDF International Spokesperson Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari said IDF fighters continue to operate deep in the Gaza Strip, eliminating terrorists, including Hamas's head of weapons and industries, the IDF saying today he was one of Hamas's leading weapon developers. Evacuations of Gazan civilians continue today with the IDF extending the hours of its humanitarian corridor due to high demand. The IDF also said two soldiers were lightly and moderately hurt respectively by an anti-tank missile fired from Lebanon at northern Israel. The IDF responded with fire at the target. And the civilian killed earlier this week in northern Israel by an anti-tank missile from Lebanon was named today as 55-year-old Mayor Moyal, who was said to have been working on behalf of the state and the IDF when he was killed. Israel's Foreign Minister Eli Cohen addressed the European Parliament today in Brussels. Together, he wrote with the families of hostages being held by terror group Hamas in Gaza to demand, he said, that the European Union act to release all the abductees. The event, he noted, opened with a minute's silence in memory of the 1,400 murdered in the terrible massacre on October the 7th. Local police in Ventura County, California, are looking into the death of a Jewish man who was demonstrating in support of Israel this week in Thousand Oaks. 69-year-old Paul Kessler fell backwards after an altercation with a pro-Palestinian demonstrator. Ventura Sheriff's Office is investigating the case as a homicide and are not ruling out the possibility of a hate crime. A bipartisan candlelight vigil and moment of silence was held yesterday on the steps of the U.S. Capitol, hosted by House Speaker Mike Johnson and Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries to remember the victims of the Hamas massacre. And Johnson wrote, we prayed for those still being held hostage by barbaric Hamas terrorists and called for their immediate release. The House, he wrote, stands united with Israel against Hamas. And staying with the House, a vote to censure Democratic Representative Rashida Tlaib for, quote, promoting false narratives regarding the October 7th massacre on Israel and for calling for the destruction of the state of Israel passed last night. On this vote, the yeas are 234 and the nays are 188, with four answering present. The resolution is adopted. The resolution states that Talib defended the brutal attacks by Hamas as justified resistance and that she continued to knowingly spread the false narrative that Israel intentionally bombed the Al-Ahli Arab Hospital on October the 17th and posted on social media a video containing the phrase from the river to the sea, widely recognized as a genocidal call to violence to destroy the state of Israel. Talib defended the use of the phrase, claiming it is an aspirational call for freedom, human rights, and peaceful coexistence. 22 Democrats voted with Republicans, including Brad Schneider, who tweeted Talib has repeatedly insisted on using inflammatory language that dangerously amplifies Hamas propaganda and disinformation. Brandeis University this week revoked recognition of the campus chapter of Students for Justice in Palestine, saying the group openly supports Hamas. This means the group will no longer receive university funding or be able to hold activities on campus. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS, for Wednesday, November the 8th at 7 o'clock, actress Billy Boulay talks about playing Anne Frank in the TV series A Small Light. At 7.30, Charles Kaiser tells the story of a Catholic family in France that fought against the Nazi occupation.
At 8, David Harris implores the American Jewish community to rally together in solidarity at the March on Washington this coming Tuesday, November the 14th. At 8.30, Thane Rosenbaum discusses the tragic events of Kristallnacht. At 9, Avi Hoffman talks about his project, the Dachau Album. At 10, Flur Hassan Nahum, Ashira Solomon, and Emily Schrader talk about their experience visiting an Israeli kibbutz that was massacred during the October 7th attack by Hamas and responses to the murder of Jews. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, November the 8th, 2023. I'm Tisha Bader. Am Yisrael. Chai.